hopefully you're not too much of bad luck and we don't blow it up on the way home or anything. Oh, you made it. I woke up four minutes ago. Well, that's great. That's great. I'm going to get out and put air in the tires real quick. So, the bank opens up in 18 minutes, and i got to go get gas real quick. Hey, your bumper's off. And yeah, they're not having a good morning so far. I'm so sorry for that. Oh, yeah, but she's not, she's not too happy. She looks busy. Um, I think it's on the passenger side. I think it's a Volvo. <laughs> Well, today is going to be wild. Like everything, it is really last minute. We are outside of Chase right now. They open in two minutes. So we're literally out here waiting for them to open up the doors so we can run in and grab a lot of cash, unfortunately, because we're going to make a really big purchase today. And I think you guys are going to be pretty satisfied with it. So, so in the R1 video, I had uh, posted about selling it and I was talking about needing a new project, essentially. And I was asking about if I should do, I have a 67 Camaro that I have the option to get. I had a truck that I have an option to get that I could start building on. And I was thinking about a few different things. I was even considering maybe selling the Mustang, getting a GTR or something. But I pretty much swayed my opinion away from that. Mustang's not going anywhere. So it's pretty much between the other two. The comments on that video were overwhelming for both of those projects. So today we're gonna solve one of those issues. <laughs> hey guys, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I just need to withdraw some money. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good morning. Well, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I hate spending money. It is currently 9.16 in the morning. We just left the bank and we are actually headed to go check out this mystery vehicle right now. We are three hours away. It's in Little Rock, Arkansas, where we've pretty much picked up everything so far. We've got Adam here. He's the one that pulled the uh, Mustang all the way up to North Carolina to the call out up there where we blew the motor up and everything. So hopefully you're not too much of bad luck and we can actually get a good deal out of this thing today. We don't blow it up on the way home or anything, but I've got all the cash for it, so the plan is to go up here, check it out, and if it looks as good as what he says it does, then we're going to leave with it. I'm pretty excited because what it is is seriously wicked. It is not what you're expecting. And not only that, me and him also have a trip planned, hopefully this weekend, to pick up something. Just, never mind. I'll just let you guys find out. No, never seen it. Always ask me. I don't get it. What you doing? Why you lying? Why you talking? Where you going? I ain't stopping. I ain't average, you don't love me, you don't know me, you don't feel me, you don't get it, no relations, legendary, I ain't waiting, never seen it, always ask me, I don't get it, what you doing, why you lying, why you talking, where you going, I ain't stopping, I ain't average, you don't love me. We are back in Little Rock once again. We just pulled up. We are actually 10 minutes away from the dealership. This is the second time in two weeks that we have been here. We were just here picking up the uh, CB300F. It's the donor bike that we were using for the 300 swap on the Grom. And here we are once again. I I seriously am so pumped to see this that I did not sleep. Oh, oh, okay, get that. <laughs> I did not even sleep last night. I have been awake pretty much all night. My stomach is turning so bad because I'm so excited. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but I'm hoping that the guy is pricing it high because of the quality of the build. And uh, I don't even know. I guess we're just going to have to see. Right there. Right there. Old school cars right there. That is where we got the CV300. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, so we're going another 700 feet past that right here. And this is the place. What are the chances of that? And there's the truck. Oh my God. Wait, can you say that yet? I don't know. There's the vehicle. <laughs> oh. I'm not gonna show it yet. God. Let's go. Right right here, oh, oh, this pretty is spotless. so nice. <laughs> He's like me, he just kind of drove it on the weekends and stuff. So. Does it come with it? Yeah. 
Okay. I used it for a mother bottle over the weekend. <laughs> we went to Memphis and started carrying a 55 pound bottle. I just carried the 10 full. I got you. So I do know that the tune, the way they have the tune, it won't, when you, like you'll drive fine and both freeze you out of it whenever you stop. It'll, sometimes it'll shut off depending on how low the RPM drops with the cam. too much money i think it's a good truck to build off of but i think it's too much money well what do you think it's worth then yeah what i tell you a while ago jake i felt comfortable nine, I think about eight eight nine. Or nine yeah he said he's got slicks on some steel wheels at home he'll throw in with it too so i mean it's definitely fast for a truck for sure i drove chris's truck and he he said that, that truck was real fast and i didn't think it was that fast when i drove it either yeah, i'm just guy, used to the mustang he said motor only heat they got a dyno on that setup with the headers the cam and everything and it made 475. no nitrous no nitrous did it feel like 475 horsepower for 4200 pounds yeah it's, it's honestly just it's hard to even know because i'm I, like i said i'm used to driving the mustang at the end of the day would you be happy with it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, but it's I just don't want to pay that much money I don't for think it. it's worth it. No. So, get them up real quick. Essentially, we got here, the truck has a lot more problems than we were expecting. We're just $1,500 apart between our two ideal selling prices, and he's not really wanting to budge that much. I don't think it's going to work out, but oh well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, well, nine dollars is the final price that I can do for it. Just let me know if you want to pass on that. We can head back home after finish eating, or I can go back up there and get it. Said so I like the truck. It's just not worth the price. That price for me. I don't know. Let's send it and see what happens. <laughs> we got to drive back home to Noel. Only thing I lost was a day and a little bit of money and gas. I don't care. If it takes nine thousand though. I think it'd be a good deal. He read it. He's just still just reading it. <laughs> He's been reading it for a pretty good minute now. <laughs> yep, he said that he can't do 9000 That loses too much money for me and doesn't make sense. I've come down on the price another $1,200 to fix $500 worth of issues, and I think that's fair. Still doesn't it's mean just the not value worth that, is much. that high, though. Yeah. He said come up with a little more, and he'll think on it, so I'm assuming that he'd probably take 95 but I don't want to pay 95 for it. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't lose anything. It's not like... Yeah, I'm gonna just telling that I'll have to pass. <laughs> have to pass. Thanks for the offer. What else should I say? No, once I head home, I'm not coming back up to the truck. Mm -hmm. So I have to pass. Thanks for the offer. Hope it didn't waste your time. No hard feelings. It's just not what I'm looking for for that price. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. What did he say? He said, I understand 9800 and I'll keep the slicks in the bottle. That's the last offer. Sorry. It keeps going. 9000 is honestly as high as I can go. I'm not trying to lowball you. That's just all that I can spend on it. I won't be mad or upset if you turn it down. I get that you have your value on it. I just can't meet it. If we can't meet it 9000 then that's all right. I'll just keep looking. He's gonna, he's gonna take nine. And then we're gonna have to turn around and go all the way back over there. Oh, he said he's gonna pass. We'll probably taste it back in 20 minutes. I said, all right, good luck on the sale. We'll head back home. No, I think you're making the right call. He needs to sell it more than I need to buy it. He seriously thinks that I have to spend 9,500. Or he thinks that I have to buy the truck. <laughs> I pass up on deals all the time. I don't know. I have a feeling though, we're gonna go like 15 more minutes. And he's gonna say, on oh, second thought, I'll take 9,000, but I'll, I'm not turning around. Um, <laughs> we're turning around, he said that he'll take it. He said he had to move some money real quick. We're going to meet at his other dealership, and this is our exit. We are literally right, I mean, we exit, it's right here, so. This time I'm like actually kinda nervous about the whole thing, I don't know why. Eat. There it is. Again. Again. It looks so good though. Imagine with the black roof, black wrapped roof, the tinted windshield and everything. Are you kidding me? That was nice. Oh, hey. That was quick. I'll park it. Well, I'm not in that red light. You'll never know if you're going to catch it or not. <laughs> You don't have 
out through here, if they end up telling you you gotta have a notary down there, what I can do is I can get a fake uh, Here's that. Uh, you don't even know. It's probably safer than that, look. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, now the AC does not work while it's idling because it's cam, big cam problems. <laughs> So we're driving down the road and literally the truck's in drive and it just, it, it stops going. Out of Little Rock, we are like literally 10. We I, we got out of Little Rock going down 167 and made it maybe five, ten minutes. Okay, right he said to send him my location, and he'll be here in a second. Literally, I don't even know, got maybe maybe 10 minutes outside of Little Rock. I have had this truck in my possession for a total of maybe 15 minutes. Five of it has been spent on the side of this road. We were literally just driving down the road. I was on the phone with somebody. The truck is in drive, and all of a sudden it just stopped driving. like a fuse for the transmission solenoid or uh, I don't know maybe some computer that makes it shift into gear or something something I, I have no idea why it would just miraculously stop going into gear we pulled the transmission dipstick the fluid's still high it still smells decent it's not like it's burnt up or anything I have no idea drive was neutral reverse was neutral we were literally just driving we were going straight cruising at like 70. We weren't even doing anything. Damn it. 